I was crafting potions. Goidance. Alright. Ooh, yummy. What's in oh, here? nope, this is not what I thought it was. This I was a, like, oh my god, you're land. in Raphael's house, but it's not Raphael's house. No. That being said, I'm going to pill for every single thing. There are so. a lot of... Oh, there's an altar to Shar and a bunch of rats looking at it. Those rats seem enthralled with that grave in the next room. I'm going to pick up everything. This is a lot of this is a lot of potion materials. Yeah, I just made a bunch of potions as well, so this will actually be very helpful. What's your gripe right with Saluna anyway, Shadowheart? I thought you were supposed to be evil. Shadowheart? Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Yeah, it's just, that's, 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 blah, blah. I thought she was evil, so her being like, uh, imagine ever betraying someone who loves you. I'm like, what? <laughs> Well, yeah, she's, I mean, she has a, she follows an evilly aligned deity, but, like, her reasons for following her, I mean, as far as, as far as we know, right, are motivated in, well, her sincere belief in these, these teachings, this idea of, like, loss is an ever-present thing, and it's, it's this thing, and then Saluna, obviously, is being portrayed as, from Shadowheart's perspective, betraying her sister who loved her and gave her this cosmic balance, but, like, you know, in reality, we don't know the whole story or I don't know the whole story, but maybe it's in game or something But there, yeah. I mean, there's a good chance that it's like she betrayed her because she was trying to like this, Yeah, this could all be like inaccurate Char interpretations of all of this Yeah, I mean I wouldn't even call it inaccurate so much as a very reductive look at it of like bias maybe from a perspective the perspective yeah. of you know Almost like there's two characters that were in conflict with each other and if you just listen to the yeah. one of them You'll get ha uh, an incomplete story. I found a I journal from the corpses Yay. I think part of it is probably, like, Char technically was acting in the service of balance by uh, killing a, a bunch of orphan children because there must be 50 deaths for every 50 births or something. And then, you know, Saluna was like, that's bad. How dare you? And then obviously, like, on paper, that is a betrayal because they're supposed to be in balance. But on the other hand, it's saving 50 orphans. So it's like, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's actually kind of biased in favor of Saluna, but obviously the Shar worshippers who believe loss is the constant of life will feel like that's kind of a bummer. Let's see. That's me making up something. I don't know if that's the actual lore. I'm just saying, yeah. I think that's where she's coming from, you know? The, the kind of conflicts that happen in this game. The handwriting is haste, a hasty lopsided scrawl. The pages are blots of ink and what... <clears throat> Maybe smudges of dried blood. Lady Shar continues to preserve me, though escape is impossible. The beast still prowls our halls, though the sounds of battle no longer reach my ears. I fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the Night Singer's sacred gauntlet, but I shall wait. The beast will not linger for long, surely. Another shorter entry. The handwriting even more skewed and erratic. The beast still remains. Why does it not leave? And why does it sing? The food is gone. I must preserve my strength. The final entry is barely legible. Mistress, embrace me, please. They got trapped in the place. Send to camp. Send to camp. There we go. I'm not used to using Will as my main character, but he's holding the lamp, so it's just annoying to run around as the group and have and have everybody else like follow, uh, have him following while having the lamp. Rats. What's this now? I should probably cast thingy. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Where's my animal button? There we go. 
Amicus. Unworthy. Unworthy to walk among friendly bones. Leave. Uh calm down. What are you talking about? Talking of you. Intruder. Invader. Unworthy one. These halls are not for you. They also the same we thing. Outnumber you. Leave me be. Unworthy of dark cloak. Unworthy of dark fur. Unworthy. The blight has worked up. Wonder what's got under its skin. Hmm, this one has a different interaction. Let's study the rat's behavior. Uh, add bonus, guidance. I have a lot of numbers. I would like to number, please. Oh god. Okay, that's... Okay, I'm good. The rat holds its ground. It almost seems defiant. It's adorable! Get it! <laughs> Trying to be tough when you're that small. We are small, but many. Leave, or see what happens. That rodent's got the spirit of a centaur. I've got to respect it. Leave. Away. My nest. My dark. I feel like we just walked in on a certain uh, location and character from Planescape Torment. <laughs> <laughs> the rat swarm this guy. This is the path of heroes. Your feet sully it. They're all so opinionated. Consider the rat's tone and choice of words. Insight proficiency. I'm so good at rats. The rat isn't merely territorial, it's proud. This place means a great deal to it. This place seems important to you. Why? We've always been here. It's ours. We watch over it. You do not belong. One more rat. Two legs. Too familiar. <laughs> you're, being, you're too familiar for someone with two legs. Aw, <laughs> uh, these guys are adorable. I kind of want to respect it. <laughs> Just leave. It's just vibes. These are these are bad vibes. <laughs> Let's see. Scary lever? Well that didn't open a door. What was it supposed to do? Uh Reconstituted marksmen's and reconstituted duelists. So there are skeleton boys in the next room. Hmm. Everything here really is just like a whole ass direction. You ready for a fight? Yep. I'm staying back just in case you get a surprise round. Let's see here. Who the fuck is this? Okay, they aren't there. I thought there was a named character, so I was like, what the fuck? What if you walked in first, Mr. Summon? Uh, they are NPCs we probably talk to. Interesting. This count as adventure? Could also be a surprise round even at that point, unfortunately, but... Friends? You prowl my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? I am Groot. You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend, an uninvited friend. 
I did not request help. Um. Who am I really speaking to? Come join me and find out. I want to look at you with my own eyes. Stinking pile of ogre afterbath! The quakes held the shadows. They found me. Alright, yay, exactly what I wanted happened. I think we're in combat. <laughs> you are. Trespasser, Michael's. Okay. Uh, is the Justicier Avenger hostile to you or hostile to them? Uh, the Justicier Avenger is red, and the three okay. dudes are yellow. So they, they will. So the Justicier Avenger will hit us. There's also four umbral, umbral tremors that are listed as red on the top bar. I guess the, yeah, those are the, the four purple balls, the orbs. Let's see, can I inspect those? Dark invaders use umbral tremors to travel to the material plane. Oh, so if we destroy them, we might stop, stop stuff from spawning. Very possible. And neither of them died. <laughs> Alright, I am going to uh, walk around. Uh, nope, you gotta ungroup. With her, I want to... She is not in combat. And she sneak over here. Oh no! They saw can't somehow. Can she spirit guardians? She can spirit guardians. All right, she's entering the fight. That's good enough. Ant is in the fight. We're good. All right. Okay, everyone's in the fight now. Okay. Let's see. What? Wait, can I not reach it from here? Oh wait, I have to pick it out. What element should I try to make the bad guy vulnerable to? Or which, what's that? Raid, uh... Which bad guy? The Justicier? Yeah, I can, I'm, I can hex him. Constitution. Either that or dexterity. Oh, even more. What do I want to do? Uh, I will just move Shadowheart here so that these assholes take damage when they get close to her. Let's see here. My summon's already in combat. I'm out of level 4 spell slot, so I can't summon a new Dryad. Oh no, damn, he's, he is, uh, he counterattacks radiant damage. That's fine. That's fine for Shadowheart. Hmm. But he didn't, he didn't hit the, uh, weapon? No. The weapon doesn't do radiant damage. Oh. Well, he's having a bad uh, time. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
Oz doesn't even seem worth it to do a turn. Let's see. Uh. Teehee. Fuck. Alright, well. I, I should be thinking ahead about this being a bigger fight anyway. Shit. Uh. I kind of got a little too focused on there were only being one enemy, so I'm like, just tap him with something and he'll die. But all these things are totally going to turn into enemies. But, mm, do any of them target the balls? Because it seems like they're not. I don't know yeah. what the balls even really do. I think they turn into enemies. Because then I, ins I inspected it and said what it said, which is that these are the things that the yeah. guys use to reach the material plane. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to immediately convert or if it's going to be something else. I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I'm curious if it's going to be a, a, like a puzzle thing where it's like there's a number ticking down on them or if it literally is just like spawning monsters. Nope, here yes, they come. It, it is just spawning. Okay. So we need to cull them all. Right, all. we can kill them. I don't... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just destroy him. It's fine. No, really? I was like, I'll learn from a mistake last time and I'll hit one of them twice instead of two of them once. And then I rolled so low that I still didn't kill one. Oh, oh I think there's more than there were earlier. I think they're spawning more... Okay, so we need to keep up with these. Because I think there's more orbs than there were earlier. And that's bad. That can become very bad. I'm definitely going to need to rest after this so I get spell slots back. I wasn't thinking about that earlier. That's fine. Good spiritual weapon. Fly. Where is the other portal? It's over here. Uh, not gonna get there in time, but that's fine. One spawn behind us. Just gonna leave him in the middle. This poor Oh, there was an enemy, shit. I'm just like this this poor <laughs> this poor ent will never actually be able to reach any of these portals at a speed to be useful. There we go, you got one. Good boy, pat, pat, pat. I can't highlight it. There we go. Oh, DA. That's about as good as that possibly could have gone. Your turn. Uh, I'm 
just trying to see the best path. Uh, I can misty step. Yeah, we're gonna short. We're gonna rest right after this anyway. His spirit weapons turn, by the way. It came straight to me. Oh, this one's got more health. Oh, it's a deep umbral ter uh, ter tremor. This one probably summons a mini boss type guy. Well, that was Mike. <laughs> That's how much that guy helps. It's like, listen, man, what do you want from me? I'm a summons summon. What is the effect on it? I don't think I can highlight it. There's just a weird green speck under his bar. I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. Ooh, almost. I've been just ignoring most of the ads. We have so many we have so many helpers, but they only seem to acknowledge the enemies and not the portals. I'm trying to deal with those. Uh and turn. I thought I had spirit guardians up. Oops. weird I like didn't animate well they're rapidly running out of things uh yeah we did it there's not a single portal now Wait. Just one room just one remaining dude uh let me see my options that being the deeper one, I definitely I think that it was it. supposed to be like the big final calamity. But our characters are so mobile that we were just on top of them and wiping them all out. Mm, I hear someone chattering behind the wall. Who's over there? Who's got a funny I little gremlin voice? This. How do I dismiss a summon? There we go. I can't quite hear them, but I can see. I, I, I can. Ah. Uh, they're there somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Ah. 
grunts. Still in range. Oh, too dark. That's annoying. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Uh, I should have jumped here. Am I close enough yet? No. Well. Yep. I'm blocked in. Bay. My ass. <laughs> no, don't walk in there. I think it's your armpit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what a camera angle. I wasn't even standing there. What was Ghoul that camera angle? Ghoul medic. Undead ward. Balthazar. Oh, there's the people that were chittering behind the wall. Flesh. Oh yeah, Balthazar's just a whole ass character in here. Huh. I definitely thought that the description we were getting was implying that Balthazar was a she. <laughs> I thought the journal said Balthazar then she or something. Oh. Uh, it was talking about... He's like, uh, don't dawdle, and then we sleep for 24 hours. Yes. You can't tell me not to dawdle. I'll dawdle whenever I choose. I'm the protag. Protagonus dawdles whence he chooses. Let's see, level 8, 118 health. A lot of undead summons, but we have an anti undead character in the party. That's an obvious weak point. Alrighty. There we go. Everyone's back. How about we introduce ourselves? That's a lot of meat everywhere except his head. So I guess I guess I can't ah, call him a meathead. The interloper, and in one piece as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Honestly, I was half paying attention. <laughs> Let's see. Naturally born, that's a strange thing to hold against someone. Not so. Womb births are such imprecise things. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. Oh, he's a Dwergar, I think. My creations. Oh no, he's just weird looking. Some of their parts. Was his mouth supposed to be moving the first time? <laughs> 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 okay. There's a whole line where his mouth was moving. I'm like, is he talking telepathically? Who are you? You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar, 
chief advisor to General Thor, and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? Oh, please no. make the mistake of revealing everything. <laughs> the name Balthazar seems vaguely familiar, but from where? Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Hold on. Yeah, there you go, guidance. Hey. You got it! Nice. You can't take the sky from me. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkathran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. Wow. I learned so much from that. Uh, name, 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 name. <laughs> Balthazar. I heard of a monk by that name once. He died a long time ago. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes. Okay, so if you know a D&D &D Balthazar already, that's not him. Got it. Hmm. Enlighten me. There is a relic here. One which General Thorne desires. No. Needs. I will retrieve it for him. And you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. This necromancer has Cathrex's trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. Hmm. I need more to go on. Why is this relic so important? What does it do? Fourteen. Okay. Let's try voice of the circle. Oh. Nice. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleating. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. Need my help. I do not need you or your help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. You have resources to spare. Give me something to aid my search. Oh my god, these rolls. <laughs> Don't even need bonuses. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. Remember, you can't come until My I ring the bell. He's no intellectual powerhouse, <laughs> but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. Wait, it. He is your brother? In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such tripe. Besides, with, with my little baby once hands. I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, mother was not pleased. What happened to your mother? We're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf. Over there. 
one definition of the of the word close. What exactly will you be doing while I'm out risking myself? My creations need tending to. Not that it's any of your concern. This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth, lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. No rest for you yet, Mikan. You will serve me until I am satisfied. Oh, you were bullied in high school. Flesh will remain here until Korg. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. Does he have ears? <laughs> oh, he does have Broken ears. Broken moon lantern. Why is that highlighted? He does have that part of his face. Gross. Oh, everything here is stealing. Let's quick save. <laughs> mm hmm. I don't think he lets you off with a warning. Oh, he's kind of letting you off Got with a warning. warning. Surgery kits, stained towel. Everything's gross here. He's got nothing in there. He really is just like poking at a pile of bones and being like, Who's the big man now, Jerry? I should have gone out with Veronica. All right, there's nothing here for us to play with. Balthazar, the fantasy incel. 